Question 3. 4 6 add 3 6. Well, it's like saying 4 apples add 3 apples. That would be 7 apples, wouldn't it? So it's like the unit would then be apples, but the unit that we're talking about here is in 6 because we're dealing with 6. So 4 6 add 3 6. We've got a common denominator, so we can just still use that common denominator in our answer. We're dealing with 6. So 4, 6 add 3, 6 is 7, 6. In the same way that 4 apples add 3 apples is 7 apples. So your final answer is 7, 6. Now you could, if you wanted to be really clever, turn that improper fraction, because that is improper fraction, because the top number is bigger, into a mixed number. And to do that, you would do 7, whatever's on the top, divided by whatever's on the bottom. So 7 divided by 6. Well, 7 divided by 6 is one whole lot of 6 in there, remainder 1. It's 1 remainder 1. And because we're dealing with 6, you just keep the same denominator. So it's 1 whole 1, remainder 1 6. So you could, if you really wanted to, put an answer of 1 and 1 6. But actually, you don't get any extra marks for that. You would still get the mark if you left it at 7 6. So 7 6 is correct or one whole one and one sixth is also correct. Either of those two answers would get you the mark. They both mean the same thing.